All right, so this week's focus has been on self-love. So first let's begin by noticing what we feel in our bodies today. Take a moment to scan, maybe starting from the top of your head and moving all the way down to the tips of your toes. Notice if there's any part of your body that may be calling out for your attention. Is there anywhere that maybe there's discomfort? Anything that your body is asking for today. So remember, there's no judgment. We are just checking in. And noticing the sensation of your breath. the quality of your breath. Where does it feel like it flows? And is there anywhere that it feels like maybe it's catching? Where can you feel your breath the most in your body? Maybe it's on the inhale, on the exhale. Perhaps you feel it the most in your nose, maybe your chest or your diaphragm. Taking deep inhales in through your nose. And long, slow exhales out. Notice any thoughts that you've brought with you to our practice. Is there anything happening there that you don't need during our practice? Thoughts of the past or the future? Any kind of self-talk that maybe you don't need right now. And as you breathe here, on your inhale, notice your body expanding, creating space in your body, maybe in your rib cage or in your diaphragm. And as you exhale, notice your body coming back together. So we're gonna do just a quick meditation before we get going. I invite you to imagine someone that you love unconditionally. And maybe a family member, a friend, it may even be a family pet. Someone that you care for, that you love, that brings you joy. Maybe imagine their face. What is it that you love about them? Notice what you feel in your body. Where do you feel that unconditional love? How does it make you feel? And 
and hold on to that feeling. Keep noticing it in your body and then release the image of the one who inspired this feeling of love. Feeling this love within you, knowing that it originates from within you and is not dependent on anyone or anything outside of you. That love is always there. You can call upon it when you need it. Maybe returning to this practice that we did just now. And keep that sensation of love and maybe sending it to yourself. Do you need to send it to a part of your body that is calling out for your attention? Do you need to send it to your mind for whatever's going on in your mind today? Or maybe you just send it to your heart center, feeling love and compassion within. So I invite you to try and stay with the sensation of love throughout our practice. And at any point, if something comes up, maybe some discomfort in the body, no sharp shooting pain, no burning sensation, just that little bit of discomfort when we stretch. Send that feeling of love there. Or if something comes up in your mind that is difficult to sit with, Send that love, sit with it, don't push it away. We're working through it. Okay, two more rounds of breath. And then making some small movements in your fingers and toes. perhaps rolling around wrists and ankles. Maybe take a big stretch here. If you're looking for me, I haven't disappeared. I just forgot the clock. <laughs> All right, we're gonna just come over. So roll, rolling over to one side, whichever side is calling for you. And then gently making your way up to seated. So any comfortable seated uh, position for you, maybe it's um, easy seated pose. Maybe you'd rather have your legs out long or perhaps it's a seated butterfly here. Okay, and then from here, we'll find a little bit of movement. So we'll bring the right hand down towards the earth. And this left arm, we're actually gonna bring it across. So reaching the left arm out to the left side, scoop the arm across in front of you and then reach up and over. And then we're gonna slowly allow that top hand to come back down, reach it forward, allow the right hand to follow. Left hand is to the side, right arm reaches up and over. Okay, so we're just gonna keep moving here, moving at your own pace, allowing the hands to draw a half circle on the floor, reach the top arm up and over. And just moving at your own pace. So let's go one more time in each direction. And then once that's complete for you, arms come back to center, hands to the earth. Let's bring our arms up towards the sky, shoulders roll back and down the spine. We're gonna clasp the hands, turn the palms up towards the sky. And then maybe allowing the arms to come over towards one side. 
Inhaling, coming back to center and exhaling over to the other side. Inhaling to center, release the clasp of your hands, allowing your hands to come down to the earth in front of you and then slowly walking your hands forward, coming into the surrender pose. So only go as far as you feel comfortable. Try and keep both sits bones or hip bottom on the earth. Surrender to love, self-love, self-compassion, self-kindness. Let's slowly walk the hands back. If you're in an easy seated pose, switching the cross of your legs. So whichever one is in front becomes the one that's behind. It always feels weird and a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, so from here, we're gonna bring our arms out to the side, palms face up towards the sky. We're gonna find a moving twist. Inhale, arms come up to center. Exhale, turning to one side, arms come down by your side. Inhale, arms come to center. Exhale, turning to the other side. So just moving with your own breath. As you come to center, lengthen your spine, crown of the head reaches high. So let's go one more time, whatever direction you still need to go in. <laughs> and then inhale, coming back to center. This time, clasping your hands, we're gonna bring them down to the heart. Turn the palms out, stretch the arms long, round the spine, tuck the chin. Notice if you feel a stretch in your shoulders, in the back of your neck. You may not, right? Where you feel it might be some more different. All right, release the hands, come on back up with the flat back, surrender pose on this side. Inhale to lengthen your spine and exhale, forward fold. Staying connected to your breath. As you inhale, breathing in self-love. And as you exhale, maybe imagine it coming together in your heart space. All right, slowly walking the hands back up to center. Let's bring the legs out long and wide. So activating your feet here, slightly curling back your toes. And we're going to find a little bit of movement here. So we're gonna bring the arms out towards one foot, bring the arms out front and over to the other foot and then make a big circle. So you reach as far as you feel comfortable. So keeping your toes slightly curled back. And if you want to, you can add a little bit something extra as you come back to center, arms reach up and over and then reach towards the opposite foot. I say a little something extra like it's wee. <laughs> Okay, let's go the opposite direction. It's like a little flare to our circle. <laughs> Maybe your arms are tired. You can do whatever feels good for you here. So one more circle. All right, let's come back to center. One more stretch on the floor before we come up. So we're gonna bring our feet together, knees apart, finding your sits bones, that comfortable place to sit, sitting up nice and tall. 
Inhale to lengthen your spine and exhale, hinging from the hips, sending your heart forward. Only go as far as you feel comfortable. Soften your knees, soften the hips. And maybe as you breathe through it here, you're able to feel your knees start to drop a little bit closer to the earth. If this feels really uncomfortable for you on one side because of a tight hip or whatever it may be, if you have any props, you can place that prop underneath your knee. On your next inhale, slowly coming back to center. Let's make our way into a tabletop. Wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Find some movement here that feels good for you in your body. Maybe it's cat-cow, C-shape, figure eight, in and out of child's pose, whatever, maybe some sort of random movement. <laughs> All right, so for those of you who were in class yesterday, you will recognize this version of Downward Dog. So first we'll come back to tabletop. In our tabletop, we grip our fingers, shoulders roll back and down the spine, curling the toes under, and then you're going to send your hips up and back behind you, but keep a bend in your knees. So hips come back, allow the hips to come up, and then you wanna send the uh, your belly button towards your thighs. They may not come there, it doesn't matter. So your shoulders, notice what's going on, roll them back and down. Imagine you're tucking your triceps under, not imagine, I guess you are actually tucking your triceps under and inside of the elbows are looking at each other. Try not to lock out the arms, grip the fingers, relax the head, relax the neck. Notice where you feel it in your legs. Maybe you feel it in your arms somewhere or your back. Send your breath wherever it needs to go. Sending that love and compassion. And then from here, if you wish, maybe you start to pedal out your feet, straightening one leg and then the other. So however it feels comfortable for you, making your way towards the front of your mat into a four fold, feet are hip distance apart. As much of a bend in your knees as you need so there's no discomfort in your low back, backs of your thighs. Perhaps you sway here. Maybe you release tension in your neck by shaking out your head slightly. All right, so whenever you're ready, hands come to your hips, lengthening your spine and come on up with a flat back. Okay, so our sequence today um, is two different sequences kind of combined together. Um, one of them is by the Greeleys, which we've done a few of their sequences already. Um, this is Animal Parade. And then there's also another one thrown in. It's uh, Walking the Elephant. I don't remember her name. I can't remember her name. Um, okay, so we're gonna just kind of work through all the poses and feel what, notice what feels good for us in our bodies. Notice anywhere that maybe we can make adjustments as we go through the flow and then we'll put everything together. So we're gonna start sideways on the mat. So toes are gonna point out towards the corners wide stance here. We're gonna find a goddess pose, also known as our horse pose. So our animal parade. I'm not gonna make you make animal noises, don't worry. All right, so goddess pose, sitting down, send the knees out. So we wanna send them out and back. We don't want them to be collapsing in. 
And then a slight tuck of your tailbone here, send the tailbone down. Often when we come into this kind of a pose, we tend to send the hips back. Right, we're gonna bring our arms up overhead and then we'll come into our goddess arms. So take a few rounds of breath here. Taking deep inhales, long, slow exhales. And then pushing into your feet and lift. Reach the arms up. And then we're going to come into a triangle pose. So left foot goes the same direction as the short edge of your mat. Right foot turns forward. Arms come out to the side and squaring your hips towards the long edge of the mat. Slight micro bend in your right knee. Reaching forward with the right hand. And that right hand comes maybe to your thigh your shin, a block, or the earth. Imagine there's a wall behind you. So you want the back of your head, shoulders, hips up against that wall as much as you comfortably can. All right, so two more rounds of breath. Actually, no, let's wait a little bit longer. Find what feels good here in that top arm. What feels good for you? Maybe it circles in your arm. If you have any kind of shoulder issues, you can always bring that top arm down to your hip or your waist. All right, so we're gonna make our way into a pyramid pose. From here, you're gonna bend into your front knee. Bring the hands down towards the earth. You may have to walk that right foot over to the right side and warrior one stance. So left foot to the earth, toes point up towards the top left corner. Okay, so we're gonna come right into pyramid here. If your arms are not comfortable here on the earth, feel free to come up into warrior one and then make your way into pyramid here. So hands on the earth, you're just going to straighten the front leg as much as it feels comfortable, rolling the right hip back. If you're up in a warrior one, straighten the front leg, slight micro bend, square the hips and folding forward. Maybe hands come to hips, thigh, shin, blocks the earth. All right, so we're gonna come into a wide-legged forward fold. If your hands are not comfortable on the earth, come on back up and then turn your feet. Otherwise, we're gonna turn our, walk our hands, sorry, turning both feet so they're parallel to the sides of the mat. If you are standing up with a flat back folding forward into a wide-legged forward fold. So this is our elephant. releasing any tension that you feel in your neck. Hands can come wherever is comfortable. All right, if you have blocks and you need them to reach the floor, feel free to grab them. And then we're gonna come into a halfway lift here. So flat back, walking the hands out. So you're making kind of like an L shape with your body. Our first one is a twisting elephant. So left hand stays on the earth, right arm reaches out towards the side, perhaps up towards the sky. We'll bring the right hand to the floor, left our arm comes out to the side and up towards the sky. This is our walking the elephant part. Left hand comes to the earth. From here, we're going to bring the right hand, grab a block if you need to, over towards the right leg. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. Sorry, left, right leg or on the earth. 
So you can be up higher if you need to, kind of looks like a triangle. Come back to center. Coming over to the other side, left hand to either the earth or somewhere up on your leg. Reach up towards the sky. So similar to triangle, but feet are slightly different. Hands come down to the earth once again. Our Y-legged forward fold elephant. Come into a halfway lift. So our arching elephant. Left hand is going to come to the outside of the right thigh. Reach the right arm up towards the sky. And maybe that left hand slides down the leg. Gently releasing here, come back to center. Okay, this is where all the work is coming in because we're going slow. <laughs> all right, so right hand comes to the outside of the left leg. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. Bringing the hands back down towards the earth. So your choice, step or hop your feet together. Hands are gonna be on the earth and then if it's comfortable for you coming into a bit of a squat so you're up on your toes. If this is not comfortable for you, the next two poses will be on your knees instead in a tabletop. All right, so this is our bear pose. In our bear pose, we turn our feet as we turn our body. So we're gonna leave the left hand on the floor, pivot so that you're turned towards the right side, reach up towards the sky. Then gently bringing that hand down, pivot towards center, right hand stays on the floor, pivot to the left side. If you're in tabletop, you are moving your arms instead of your legs. So just the arm. So all right, arm reaches up and then down. Sorry, keep moving at your own pace. We're gonna move through this a few more times. All right, so let's go one more time here. All right, next one is a mongoose. So either tabletop or in your squat. Our mongoose, we're going to place our left hand on the floor, weight goes into the left hand. You wanna reach out a little bit to give yourself space. So for those of you who have done our Y-legged forward fold into a boat pose by swinging the leg under, this is a little familiar too. All right, so left hand is on the floor. You're going to pivot and send the left foot out. So maybe the left leg is up long. Maybe you bring the foot to the floor. You're gonna come back to center. Again, this is the hard part. <laughs> We're gonna turn and send that right leg out. If you're in tabletop, it's the same thing as before reaching the arm. Come back to center. So you have a choice actually here. You can just pivot on the toes and send the leg out, or you can come into a jump. Both hands come to the floor, hop to switch feet. Right leg out, or wherever you are. Let's do one more on each side, because this is hard. <laughs> okay, we're gonna come and step the feet out wide wherever you are, wide-legged forward fold. Hands to the hips, inhale, come on up. All right, we have a whole other side. We're gonna skip the bear and the mongoose on this side and we'll just put it all together. So first, goddess pose. Toes point out towards the side. Have a seat, send the knees back, arms into cactus arms. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> All right, come into a star pose, legs are straight, arms are straight, and then hands to your hip. Come down into a wide, whoa, I missed, messed it up. Sorry, everybody come up. <laughs> We're gonna turn our, towards the back of the mat. So left toes point out, triangle pose on this side, slight micro bend in the front knee. Squaring the hips towards the long edge of the mat, reach forward and then come into your triangle pose.
Maybe you make movements with that top arm. All right, bend into the front knee. Again, option to either come up to pivot or maybe hands come down to the floor. You're gonna come into warrior one, walk the left foot out to the side, step the right foot in. If you wish, maybe your hands stay on the earth and you straighten that front leg, roll back the hips. If you need to come up first, straighten the leg and fold forward as far as you feel comfortable. Softening the neck. Rolling the left hip back, right hip forward. All right, self-love, right? Does it matter if you can do all of this? Nope. Doesn't matter. This part of yoga is just movement. Whatever feels right in our body, maybe it's a little challenging. Maybe we need to back out a little bit. It's okay, just practice where you are. All right, so from here, we're gonna practice just turning. So if you need to come up, you certainly can. And then come into wide-legged forward fold with a flat back. Or maybe you walk your hands along towards center, pivot both feet so they're parallel to the sides of the mat. All right, let's bring our hands to our hips, lengthen the spine, come on up. And I really feel like we need a back bend. So let's bring the hands behind us, fingers pointing down towards the earth. Slight tuck of the tailbone. And even though your legs are apart, imagine squeezing your legs towards each other. And then allow the heart to open up towards the sky. This is not part of our flow. It's just, I feel like we need it. <laughs> All right, inhale, come back to center. And then take a moment to shake out your legs. I'm gonna pause it and see if anybody has any questions. All right, so only do what feels good for you, right? You can go as quick or as slow as you want. You can take a break if you want, or you could do mongoose and bear. You can always come to table and just move the arms instead of the legs. All right, let's start here. So we're gonna move faster. So it's actually gonna be easier moving faster. So feet come out wide, find your horse or your goddess. Toes point out towards the sky, the sides, bending your knees, knees come back. Slight tuck of the tailbone, cactus arms. Straightening the legs, straighten the arms. Turning the right foot towards the front of the mat. Reach with the right hand, come into triangle pose. Find that movement that feels good for you in the top arm. Maybe just stay straight. Maybe you reach back. All right, bending into the front knee. You're gonna wit, mm -hmm, windmill your hands towards the front of your mat, set up for warrior one stance. You can always step that last foot in a little more if it feels like too much of a stretch. Find your way into a pyramid pose. Rolling the right hip back, left hip forward. Remember, it's okay to be wherever you need to be. You can be up high. So maybe you come back to standing or maybe you keep your hands on the earth and walk your hands over so that you're coming into a wide-legged forward fold. If you're standing, find length in your spine and then folding forward. Our twisting elephant coming into a halfway lift. Hands come out in front. Grab the block if you need it. Right hand comes to the earth. 
Left hand reaches high. Left hand to the earth. Right hand reaches high. Right hand to the earth. Our reaching elephant. Walk the left hand over to the left side or maybe it comes up onto your leg somewhere. Right hand reaches up towards the sky. Right hand comes down to the earth, forward fold. And then making your way over to the other side, right hand to thigh or the earth, left hand reaches high. Left hand to the earth, let's come into halfway lift. And our arching elephant. Right hand comes to the outside of the left leg. Left hand reaches up towards the sky. Bringing both hands down, find your halfway lift, flat back. Left hand to the outside of the right leg. Right hand reaches up towards the sky. Right hand comes down to the earth. Walk or hop your feet together. So our arms are out in front and we're gonna find our bear or maybe you're in tabletop and finding the arm movements. So coming down onto the tiptoes, send the knees over towards the right pivot on the feet, right hand reaches up. Come down, right hand to the earth, pivot on the feet, left hand reaches up. All right, so move through this at your own pace as many times as you feel comfortable, as quickly or as slow as you wish. This is the one time that like a rubber mat is not good because my toes don't want to turn. <laughs> All right, let's go one more time in each direction. And then make your way back to center. Hands are on the earth. Let's go through mongoose together. First time through together. Left hand is on the floor out in front. Shift your weight into your left hand. Turn the right foot out. Left foot reaches through, right arm up towards the sky. Again, you can be on the earth if you wish. Come back to center, right hand to the earth. Pivot the toes, weight shifts into the right hand, right foot reaches through. All right, so moving at your own pace, maybe you go nice and slow, or maybe you find that little hop from side to side instead of stepping the foot down. <laughs> maybe you take a moment to come to tabletop if you need to. All right, so one more time in each direction. Let's all come to tabletop. Curl the toes under, find a downward dog, and then walk the feet out towards the sides. Or if you need to come up, find wide-legged forward fold, you can. All right, hands come to your hips, lengthen your spine, come on up, flat back. We're gonna add a back bend into this because I feel we need it. Slight tuck of the tailbone, squeeze the inner thighs, hands behind you, open the heart up towards the sky. Coming back to center. So this time turning towards the back of the mat, Left toes turn out, arms come out to the side, reach with the left hand, come into your triangle, slight micro bend in the front knee. Imagine that wall. Find whatever movement feels good for you in this top arm, maybe it's reaching back. All right, windmilling the hands toward to frame the front foot, bend into that front knee. Find your warrior one stance. Come up if you need to to find pyramid or straighten the front leg. 
Roll the left hip back, right hip forward. Hands can be wherever is comfortable if you've come up. Maybe it's hips, thigh, shin. All right, so wide-legged forward fold, come up if you need to, or maybe bend into the front knees to make your way there. If you're coming up, come down with a flat back and exhale to fold. All right, we're just gonna do the twisting here. So right, coming into halfway lift, sorry, right hand to the block or the earth, left hand reaches up towards the sky. Left hands to the earth, right hand reaches high. Right hand to the earth, walk or hop your feet together. Maybe you're in tabletop or maybe you come down onto the toes. We're gonna find just a few rounds of bear, turn the toes towards the right side, right hand reaches up towards the sky. Right hand to the earth, turn to the left, left hand to the sky. Move at your own pace. Some people like to add a little hop in here too as they turn, turn the feet instead of, or jump to the spot instead of pivoting the feet. If I do that, I'm gonna be so out of breath, you won't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, one more time in each direction. And then whenever you're ready, mongoose. Left hand, we'll start here, left hand to the earth, pivot towards the right, send the left foot through. Sink the hips down if you can. So step or hop back and turn to the other side. Let's go one more time in each direction. Ooh, yoga teacher falls today. <laughs> And then whenever you're ready, come into the tabletop. All right, turn towards the front of your mat. Let's come down onto the earth. So shift your weight forward, tuck the elbows gently lower. Let's find a back bend. So maybe it's baby cobra, hands under the shoulders, lift the heart. Tops of the feet push down to the earth. Perhaps it's sphinx pose. Elbows to the earth underneath the shoulders. Maybe it's full cobra, hands come by the chest and lift up, tuck the elbows, shoulders roll back and down the spine. And just find your breath. Lots of forward folding today. So. And slowly lowering down towards the earth. Bending the knees and windshield wiping your feet from side to side. All right, let's find one more back bend. So back bend of your choice, tops of the feet push down. Wherever you are, shoulders roll back and down the spine. Exhale to lower. Bend the knees, windshield wiper the feet. And then guess what? We're all done. I think maybe we can come into a twist. So make your way over onto your back. All right, let's find a gentle twist here. Feet are on the earth, knees are bent. You want to push your feet into the earth, lift your hips, slide the hips over towards the right side of the mat and drop the hips. So just the hips are moving. 
and then allowing the knees to drop over towards the left side. Arms come out to the side, palms facing up towards the sky. Perhaps you look to the right side. Connecting to your breath. If you have lost that sensation of compassion, of love, maybe once again, imagining that person that you love and care for unconditionally. Connect with that sensation in your body. Hold the sensation and let go of the image of that person or animal, whatever it may be. One more round of breath. And then allowing the knees to come back to center, reposition your back flat on the earth. And we'll come over to the other side, pushing the feet into the earth, we'll lift the hips, slide them over to the left side, and then dropping the knees to the right. Perhaps you look left. Slowing down your breath. Softening your shoulders and softening your hips. Whenever you're ready, knees come back to center, reposition your back flat on the earth, and then find Shavasana or any final shape here on the floor that feels good for you. Soften your body, softening your shoulders, your hips. Relaxing your forehead, your jaw. Relaxing the fingers and the toes. Connect to your breath. Inhaling, creating space in your body, maybe filling your body with self-love. Exhale, drawing that love into your heart center. And just continuing here at your own pace. If any part of your body is calling out for your attention or maybe your mind has started to drift Send that love and compassion to whatever part of you needs it. So no judgment about your practice today. Remember, I fell. <laughs> so it's okay. Whatever you did was perfect. 
even if you decided to come out, take a rest, that's perfect too. Gently bringing your awareness back into the room. Making some small movements in your fingers and toes. Maybe you take a big stretch, or whatever feels right for you. Whenever you are ready, rolling over to one side, whichever side is calling for you. And gently making your way to seated. And then once you get there, lowering or closing your eyes. Taking deep inhales in through your nose and long, slow exhales out. Sending love and compassion to yourself. And remember the most important thing you did during our time here today is show up and breathe. Everything else was practice and exploration. I honor all of you for being here today, for sharing your practice with me and with each other, even though it's virtual. Have a beautiful evening.